Lesson 7 Lights Hello fellow game designers, welcome to the Wicked Cat Unity Introduction course. Today you are going to learn how you can add a spotlight to your scene. Step 3 The Spotlight Create an empty game object and name it Spotlight. Next, add a light component to it. As you saw on the last video, there are several types of lights in Unity. Today we are going to focus on the Spotlight. Spotlights shine from a point in a direction and only illuminate objects within a cone. Basically, they work like the headlights of a car. As you may imagine, they are perfect for flashlights, car headlights, or lamp posts. They are also the most expensive to the graphics processor. The first parameter on the light component is type. Here you can set the type of light you want to use. You can either select spot, directional, point or area. Today we are going to use spotlight, so set the type to spot. The second parameter is range. Here you can set how far the light is emitted from the center of the object. Next you have a specific parameter to the spotlight, the spot angle. This determines the angle of the cone in degrees. The following parameter is color and will set the color of the light emitted. On intensity you set the brightness of the light. Next you have cookie. This is the alpha channel of the texture used as a mask that determines how bright the light is at different places. Since this is a spotlight, this must be a 2D texture. The following parameter lets you configure the shadows. You can either set it to no shadows, hard shadows, or soft shadows. The soft shadows are not available for mobile since they are too expensive to the graphics processor. Like we said earlier, keep in mind that spotlight shadows are expensive for the engine. If you select hard or soft shadows, you can configure several parameters. You will also note a warning on the inspector tab. This lets you know that only directional lights have forward rendering so you will have to run the game to see the final effect. If you select hard or soft, you can set the value of strength, which is the darkness of the shadows. You can set values between 0 and 1. On resolution, you set the detail level of the shadows. Finally on bias, you can configure the offset used when comparing the pixel position in light space with the value from the shadow map. Next you have the draw halo option. If you enable it, Unity will draw a halo around the light source. On flare, you can set a reference to a flare to be be rendered at the light's position. On render mode, you can either select auto, important, or non-important. Again, this affects the importance of this light when rendering, affecting the lighting fidelity and performance. The following parameter is calling mask. You can use this to select or exclude the groups of objects that are affected by the light. The last parameter is light mapping. You can set its mode to real time only, auto or baked only. After configuring your spotlight, you will see that the light shines from a point in a direction and only illuminates the objects within the cone. This concludes our third video on lights. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any doubts or feedback, leave it on the comment section below. Until next time, and keep doing awesome games.